Max Your Journey Tribe, RV community, welcome back to the best camping channel on the planet, YouTube especially, we got it on lock, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. Today you're here because you're wondering whether or not you should tow with a full tank of water in the fresh tank. Maybe you're going boondocking and they don't have hookups at the location. Maybe you're going to Dover International Speedway where we will have the camper at this weekend. We are currently filling up the fresh water tank. Let me show you. Fresh water tank is full. So let me go cut it off. All right, I ran around to the back side, cut off the water. As you can see here on the 289 Sunset Trail, it is inside my pass-through. So fresh water tank is right up top here. You fill it up, you even have a little overflow, a little breathe uh, spot up there. And underneath on these Sunset Trails, there's your fresh water uh, dump there. So right now I'm just looking for any leaks, any drips from places that is not supposed to be. And I got a day before I go. So right now I'm gonna let it sit and I'm just gonna look to make sure my tank is sealed. It's a good time to check it out, let it hold water overnight. And it's completely full to capacity. So with that said, I'm carrying that weight from, I'm in Delaware, I'm in Sussex County. I'm gonna be traveling about an hour up to Dover International Speedway with a full fresh tank of water for this weekend. And I'm gonna let you know how the tow goes. Is it safe? Is there a lot of movement? And if you wanna try it, or if you wanna fill up your fresh water tank closer to your location for safety reasons, stay tuned to find out the results. Holding on to what I know to everything I've learned, what is real and fabricated, what is wrong? All right, quick look before we hit the road. We do got a slight sag in the back, nothing too crazy. Um, I am on a grade going down, if you didn't notice. This whole thing grades down. But I know what it normally looks like sitting here and it doesn't look any worse than normal. So I'm thinking that tank is kind of towards the front to middle of that slide right about there. And it's holding pretty good because I topped it off. It is heavy right now. So let's hit the road off to Dover. And I'll let you guys know how the toe's going, what's uh, it like stopping, if I needed some increased time, if I needed to bump up the uh, brake control handler. Stay tuned for all that and Max Your Journey right here with us. Max Your Journey Tribe, as you can see, I am towing right now. And at first I had towed half of my trip without my tow haul uh, button on, believe it or not. And it was felt, that was like, not my first time doing that, but I put the tow haul mode on, 45 gallons. You gotta keep in mind, I am on the East Coast here in Delaware. Uh, it's a little bit more flatter. I did just go over a big uh, bypass, overpass. Um, and it's towing pretty good. I had spots where I had to hit about 60 so far, 70 without the tow haul mode on, made no problem making my passes. So I would say use caution like anything else. If you can refill, or fill your tanks up closer to your location, that'd be the smartest thing because you'll save on that gas mileage. Also, it uh, does require a little bit more braking. I increased my brake controller from a 7.5 to about an eight, um, but there's really not a huge difference, right, what I'm doing my situation on this beautiful day. Not windy, not hilly. So use caution and, and, and map out your plan of where you're going. Um, with that said, man, I would definitely tow with a full tank as um, long as I know my route and I would uh, have no worries about it. If anything, the only worry, if, I, if I'm being honest, <laughs> is if the factory put the tank on as good as it's supposed to be on. You know what I mean? Like they, they slack on a lot of things. So with that weight on that tank, that would be my only fear. So with that said, max your journey, continue your travels, have a good one and y'all be safe. Thank you.